There was a Forbes study in 2018 that said there was a 713% increase in spend in legal tech. Uh, and so that is reflected in Asia as well. Maybe not 713%, but certainly a lot of interest and a lot of development in legal tech in Asia. What I'd say is there's probably three groups of clients. Um, there are clients who are readily embracing technology and may have like a legal technologist in their team. It's not just the big legal teams either, it is the smaller teams because I think clients are increasingly recognizing that problem solving is not always about pro applying headcount or additional headcount. It is about looking at different ways of delivering. And so technology is sometimes one of those ways of delivering. The second group of clients are looking at what's happening in the market with technology to understand uh, what's available, but not necessarily to go out there and readily implement. Because there is so much development, and so much change happening, what's right now might not be the right, right solution in two years time. So clients have taken a bit of a wait and see in that second group. The third group of clients we're seeing are a little bit similar to that second group, not necessarily directly involved, investing in technology but they are using third party or uh, suppliers and the technology that those suppliers are utilizing. So people like Connexo. What that means for a client is that they're looking at how they deliver their work, deconstructing the workflows and where they have tasks that can be outsourced, they are taking that to a, a third party, a managed service provider or something along those lines um, and utilizing or benefiting from the cost saving and the time saving that a supplier like a managed service can give them through technology that that managed service provider is using. Mm -hmm.